Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my latest video. This is uh, more of a warning than anything. Um, you may well have already read, but uh, your Mac, your Linux machine, is currently vulnerable, um, or potentially currently vulnerable, to a hack, a vulnerability which has been termed shell shock. It's it's like the Heartbleed uh, incident, which happened a few probably a month ago now I guess um, but the difference this time is this can affect a lot more um, machines and also more worryingly servers um, it affects Linux and Mac OS X and Unix and that's it that's the reason why because both of those operating systems are built on the Unix core at uh, the kernel and this goes right to the heart of the operating system. This hack, this vulnerability, it uses bash scripts, which are pretty easy to, um, to, to to write, to be fair. They're not difficult. Um, anybody realistically with um, a decent knowledge of Mac OS X can actually run them. Anybody who runs Linux, you know, they're familiar with command lines. It's, it's a very simple um, but right to the core of the operating system. You know, that's not to say that your average person is going to be able to do this, but it is something that now published is going to be very, very widely exploited, which means that all the vendors um, are rushing out currently to produce fixes for it. Now, you might think, well, I don't run a, I don't run a Linux machine, and I don't run a Mac box. You know, I've got an iPad maybe and you know, I've got an iPhone, but I don't run a Mac, I'm fine. You would think that. However, anything that runs an Apache web server, which is one of the most widely used platforms um out there, and particularly financial institutes use uh, Linux. Um admittedly a hardened version, so you'd expect some of this to have been removed, but um credit card transactions you've got things like home shopping uh, general websites dot gov websites um, you know official official websites which are going to be running on this platform because you know on the whole Linux offers a very stable secure and easy to manage um, solution you know when you compare it to things like Windows Server which again a lot of other other organizations use as well but Obviously, because it's so ubiquitous, the single a single vulnerability can cause a considerable threat to a wide infrastructure of web services, and that is exactly what um, is feared is going to happen in this instance. Now, it's not supposed to be shock and all, but what it is is just to make you aware that when your vendors, when your software starts asking to update, do it and do it straight away. It's something that's going to be able to be patched, but the race is now on to find patches for this particular issue before the malicious uh, side of the web comes to the fore and tries to use it. Now, it would be unconceivable that the vendors weren't informed first before it went public, so you'd have thought that a lot of this has already been done. However, you know, barring a, an update which I received earlier on today for my Mac, um, I've seen very little sign of updates coming through. Um, so what I'm going to do for you is show you a, um, a a script which you can run on Linux and also on your Mac if you do, you know, particularly favour that platform. I'm currently running on a Mac here. Um, it's got the latest version. Uh, when Yosemite comes out, I will obviously um, upgrade, but currently not. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is launch Terminal, even. Uh, we'll click on Terminal. Um, I've already written the script, but, um, and save you reading it, I'll just fast forward it. So that's your script, so what you can see there is it's doing a call, echo vulnerable, bash, echo, hello. So if it's vulnerable, in effect, it's going to go vulnerable hello, or hello vulnerable. You can you can do it the other way around if you want. Um, 
And so what you want to go and do is run the command. So you want to press enter, and the key here is there is um, two x uh, two um, points at the end of at the start and end of echo hello. Um, that needs to be in place, otherwise it won't work. So what you want to go and do is run that command, and as you can see, my machine is currently vulnerable. Uh, if you run this on a Linux box and it, and it gives you something else. Um, then you can f pretty much say that you're safe. The, the command that you, you're likely to see, if it is um, protected or you've already patched it, it will say something similar to bash warning or bash ignoring function or something similar to that. It, it, in effect, what it's doing is it's seeing that it's an issue and it's passing back um, a protective response. If you get a response similar to that says so bash colon warning warning or bash colon warning ignoring function um you know or definition attempt failed or something like that then you you're pretty much sure that it is you're gonna be okay um if like i say you get what i've got which is vulnerable hello then you can like i say you can pretty much say you you need to you need to patch it as soon as possible and obviously apple will be releasing a patch for this pretty quickly now specifically now it's in the um, or particularly now that it's in the the media i should say okay so right you now know you're vulnerable you can actually check which version of bash you're running you can you can um patch it yourself if you wish to um I, i'll leave a link in the description to show um to show you exactly what um, the process is for doing that, but in this video it's a little bit lengthy. It'd be better off for you if you read it. Um, but if you type in the command I've just done, which is just bash um, hyphen hyphen uh, version, it'll then give you the version number. And you can see there my version number is 3.2.51 uh, brackets 1, and that is the affected version. And obviously, as a result, I need to actually update. If you run it on your Linux box and you've got something different, then obviously you will need to uh, do something about it. And again, I'll put the link in the description as to exactly how you go about doing that. So that's been my quick look at um, Bash, or you know, <laughs> so it's, I suppose the, the vulnerability itself has, has got a really nice shell shock name, but it, it, you know, it's a Bash script um, vulnerability which. You know, realistically, should be fairly easy for Apple to patch. And Linux, like I say, they've already got distros out there with the patched files in it. So, like I say, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully, it's been useful. It's not designed to scare anybody, but hopefully, it'll make people aware of what's going on. Many thanks. Bye now.